hello everyone this is imran ali here welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about how you can create a free business email from like zoho mail so as you can see we are at zoho mail and uh, we are at pricing section so obviously like uh, we need to understand like why zoho mail so zoho mail is a secure uh, and uh, reliable business email solution uh, tailor made for your organization communication needs uh, within like there are many enhanced uh, collaboration features it's not just an inbox uh, they are a lot so yeah otherwise you can see that we have mail light one dollar and uh, you can get 5 gb per user mail premium four dollar and workspace so these are some things which you can do otherwise if you if we scroll down from over here you can see that we have forever plan uh, forever free plan up to five users five uh, five gb uh, 25 mb attachment limit and web access free mobile apps and email hosting for single domain sorry and if we click on sign up so what we are going to do we are going to insert our details obviously so let's let's just quickly do that and uh, i'm just gonna write everything and sign up after that it will send an email uh, to your email address and this is like one time password i'm just gonna look for it and i'm just going to open it right so just i'm going to copy my like code from my email and i'm going to put it over here verify wait for it so after you sign up every single thing you will end up over here and uh, you need to enter your domain address email address for your business so if you have any uh, domain you need to uh, put that on like over here obviously and click on add after you can see that we have two options over here we have already given our domain details and uh, after that you will end up over here decision details so here you are going to give your name your administration account um mobile number confirmation mobile phone number and uh, password obviously and your country and lastly contact email so make sure to give contact email because uh, right, like if you like you if you forget any password they will send you over on your contact email not your existing email just remember that so after that what what do you need to do you need to click on process or uh, next and then you will end up over on this page like your account has been created so here you are going to enter your verification code uh, which has been sent to your like uh, whatever you have given the email so or even number so it's all on you what are you going to give i think verify my mobile i think they will send uh on your mobile number so just remember that you will end up on this page and you can like uh, unable to factor authentication secure your zoho account and there are some like uh, two-factor authentication if you want to do that you can just go ahead and do that uh, fill out the info like obviously it's very similar a simple thing which you can do after that uh like i'm just going to go ahead and show you where will you end up so here we are as you can see on the left side we have multiple options over here and on the main screen we have verified domain whatever your domain is just click on uh, like wherever you have created like uh, godaddy one and one and your dns or one press just choose anyone from them and if you don't have any just go uh, like you don't find any uh dns manager from uh, over here just go ahead and click on others and add the details and uh, after that once it's verified uh, you can see we have more options on the left side add users create groups configure email delivery spf dkm uh dkim dkm sorry i guess uh email migration and mobile access so i'm going to tell you whatever it is necessary in this uh tutorial so like for email marketing right so all you need to do after this the first thing you need to do like in verifying domain options you just need to scroll down after selecting your dns uh, hosting provider 
and you can see that we have value points to destination and name host at last dx dx so you need to put this on your uh, domain so go to your domain uh, domain website and click on dns and try to add these or uh, properties on your domain uh, dns area so dns manager so there you you are going to add these things like as you can see at middle like txt method and uh, you need to copy these uh, these from the table and put them on your dns manager then you need to like uh, add uh, users and create groups it's very generic and very simple i'm not going to waste time on that i'm just going to tell you very important things uh, which you need to do to uh, get access to email marketing right so configure email delivery come over here and you can see we have a table over here uh, host name address address and priority so what you need to do you need to copy these three also and um, prioritize that uh, accurately like uh, the first one is 10 10 and second one is 20 and third one is 50 so make it make it in order and just put them in your dns manager go there and uh, uh, add them easily like it's very easy so last which you need to do is uh, in spf and dkim that uh, uh, you can see in spf uh txt value i have highlighted this and uh, you can just copy this and also you are going to add this on your dns manager so these three things which you need to add on your dns manager otherwise it won't link to your zoho mail so after this uh, once you have done all of this you will end up over mobile access they are telling you like you can get access to admin uh, zoho mail admin for through mobile also inbox inside helps you to set up and get notified notified specific emails and zoho mail so all of this all these three matters you need to put in to uh, like uh, you need to do this before getting access to zoho mail so yes everything is finished and it has been uh, done so what you need to do now you need to go ahead and go ahead and log into your Zo zoho mail and you can start doing your email marketing business from your like business account obviously so that's it this is all you need to know about how you can just uh, create a free business email with zoho mail right so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand everything i've said if you don't understand just please go ahead and watch it again i'm pretty sure you will understand that and thank you for watching this video